Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I'm going to be doing a lesson today uh, on something that you may have tried to do. It's a little bit tricky, uh, but I want to show you the ins and outs of taking something from Adobe Illustrator and importing it into Toon Boom Animate. Um, and this is actually going into Toon Boom Animate 3, and I'm going to show you each of these steps. Uh, and first and foremost, I'll give a quick shout out to my fabulous friend, Jock Church, who has loaned me uh, this document. Uh, he had asked me to put it together and get it over into Toon Boom. And after running into a few mistakes, I thought I would show a tutorial on how to avoid those mistakes. So let's show you how we get from Jock's very detailed illustrator document and we get to the final document over here in Toon Boom and we have the character that we can move the different pieces around. Let's do shift B, move down the hierarchy, do shift B again and I can use my bracket keys to uh, run around the uh, drawing substitutions on the hand. Let's do press the letter B. Let's move back up the hierarchy. Move this out a little bit. Press the letter B again. So um, I want to show you exactly how we get from Illustrator to Toon Boom Animate. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new document here in Animate. I'm just going to do my uh, standard. I just do a 15 frames per second, 720p. You may have your own frame rate you'd rather do. So let's just call this AI to TBA. And I'll click on Create. All right, so let's turn off our Animate button. And what I want to first do is make sure my document is set up correct. So I'll go to Illustrator and I'm going to save this out. I'll do save as and let's save this document out. And I'm going to save this as an Illustrator. But what I want to show you is pretty important. We're going to, for the version, we're going to make sure this is Illustrator CS or CS2. I'm just going to go ahead and do CS and I'll click OK. And we'll also click OK here. We're not really worried about any of the text in this document. So then we'll go back over to Animate. And I'm going to go File, Import. And if you look down, SWF Illustrator Files. All of those are kind of grayed out right now, and that's because I don't have my library set up to modify. So I'm going to go down to the library and the animate library. I'll simply right click here and select Write to Modify. All right, and now if I go to File, Import, Illustrator Files to Library. So now what I want to find is the Illustrator file I just made. So I'll click Open. And it's going to allow me to go ahead and name this. I'm going to just leave it as the same little template. I'm going to click OK. And it's right here in my library. So now I can click and drag this straight to my camera view. Let go of the mouse. And what will pop up next is it's going to show me all the colors it's pulling over from Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes that I do want to add those colors. So we now have that entire document here. Now, uh, basically what we have to do uh, 
each of the, like all the different mouths, each of those has its own layer. And both the right and the left hands all have their own layer. Now, what I want to do is I will make this, uh, I'm going to do a really short tutorial here. I'm just going to set up the mouths because that's something that normally all characters are going to have. And the A through G and then X, well, that's basically the naming convention that's set up for Toon Boom's automatic lip sync. So I'm going to go ahead and build a new layer for mouths. And then I'm going to take each one of these individual layers and place it on the mouths layer in order. So first I'll add a new layer. Just click on a new drawing layer and we'll call this layer mouths. Now, here's the tricky part. You might be thinking, hey, you know what? I'll just click and drag the letter A right here and then I'll come down and select this other drawing and just drag it up right next to it. Well, the problem with that is if I zoom in here, Frames one and two look alike right now. And if I zoom in on the timeline, normally when you do any type of drawing substitution, you should see a line between the two of those, but you don't see that. So I'm just gonna do Command Z and Command Z again. Uh, you also might be thinking, well, if I do copy and then paste, that might work. And so we can grab the next one. Let's do copy. Let me select the next frame and paste. Okay. Well, again, there's still no line here. There's no uh, different drawing substitution. Now, these are all the errors I kept running into. And I'm going to show you now the correct way to do this. So I'm going to move to my selection tool. And I'll select uh, the letter A here. And I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste it. Uh, and just to make sure I can see what's going on, I'm going to actually paste it on frame two. So I'm going to cut Command X. And instead of a normal paste, which is Command V, I'm going to do a paste special, which is Command Shift and the letter B. And that's Control Shift B on PC. Now, we're going to get this little document that pops up, and we want to tell it to always create drawings. We don't want to extend the exposure. We do want to paste all the frames, and then we'll simply press Enter. So the mouth is there. Now, you might be thinking you don't want to have to do that for every single time. So here's the trick. I'm going to select B now. And we'll cut this, Command X, and we'll select the very next frame. But instead of us doing Command Shift B, we're going to do Command Option B. Now, basically, what Command Option B is, is it's doing a paste special, but it's using all the settings that we initially set up. So now, if I zoom in on this timeline, you can see that we have the drawing substitution line right there. So we actually have two different drawings. So now I'll do the same thing for C. We'll do cut, command option B, and that's control option B on PC. I'm just gonna continue this through the rest of the letters real quick. And the last letter X will do command X, select the next frame and command option B. Now, one of the mistakes I made early on was trying to change the names of the drawings. Um, after I did a certain group, for instance, the hands um, in this model have like about 18 different uh, frames. So I would do a few and then go in and try to copy and paste names. The problem with doing that is 
I thought I could simply go right back to copying and doing a special paste with the images. And basically you'd have to reset once you do anything different. So I've done all my mouths here. So what I'm going to do now is this is going to be very uh, simple because we did them in order. Um, I can select this very first frame and I'll do command shift and the letter D for drawing and we'll change the name to A. And we're going to do this for each one of the letters. We're doing this in order. And finally, we'll do Command Shift D to rename the drawing and we'll do X. Click OK. And so now it shows us right here that we're on Mouths X. And you can see all the changes that are happening. I can select this frame right here, uh, which is frame one. And I can go in and change that. So we have all of those set up. So that is basically how you can go in and take your Illustrator files, all those different layers, and then convert them to a single layer with multiple drawings and even changing the names. And of course, once that's done, I can select all of these extra layers here and I'll simply delete those. Select delete and click OK. And we're set. So the only thing left for me to do is to do the eyes and the right and left hand and rig the puppet. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.